Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is HD StarCraft and today I am proud to bring you guys a game with a player that I have waited for a long long time to cast here in Heart of the Swarm. This is of course Flash. He is the blue Terran player in the bottom right hand corner of the map and uh, you know I, I actually haven't had an opportunity to cast Flash in a very very long time. Uh, he is basically back when Brood War was still the thing. It's still the game to watch I guess you could say um, you know flash and Jadon were going at each other for you know months on end if not years and they were really the pinnacle of Starcraft at its greatest brood war at its greatest and now both of them have finally made the transition over into uh, Starcraft 2 heart of the swarm and flash uh, hasn't really you haven't really seen him on the map but you know he's got the talent to uh, take it all the way here uh, you know in Starcraft 2 just like his uh, brethren in Jadong um, I guess they're not really brothers but you know you kind of catch my drift Jadong has gone very, very far and has accomplished quite a bit in Heart of the Swarm. And now it's Flash's turn to shine. This is from WCS Korea OSL. And uh, he is going to be the blue turn in the bottom right-hand corner. His opponent is going to be Ragnarok, who is the red Zerg at the top left. Ragnarok is also a Korean Zerg who uh, has accomplished quite a bit under his name in StarCraft 2 as well. And uh, need I say more, except this is a Terran versus Zerg, and this is Flash's best matchup historically in StarCraft Brood War. So uh, I I'm very, very excited to see how this is going to play out. Um, one of Flash's best mechanics uh, really was his insane macro. Uh, he was, um, you know, I I when Flash first kind of rose to prominence, uh, he was known more for his cheesy play. Uh, a lot of people kind of called him the Flash in the Darkness because he was. He, he, a lot of people thought he was going to just be here for a little bit and then he was going to be out uh, because he was so cheesy and so aggressive. Um, he even had this kind of uh, really weird um, early CC build that uh, he would try on opponents uh, as well as just early uh, aggression that he would try. And, you know, a lot of people thought he would be a flash in the pan, but he uh, is still here and uh, obviously now well considered to be one of the greatest, if not, you know, Bon Joie status uh, Terran player. Uh, so yeah, this should be pretty exciting. And uh, I actually have another game I'll be casting of him. I have two games that I'll be casting of Flash here. Um, there's been quite a few replays that have been released recently. And uh, I am just uh, really, really stoked to be able to bring these games to you guys. So this should be awesome. And, uh, you know, as always, if you have any good replays, feel free to send them in to HD Replays. Um, at gmail.com and uh, I'll try to take a look at those and cast them for you. Uh, anyways, hope you guys are ready for this. Hope you guys are stoked as much as I am uh, because this is going to be Flash versus Ragnarok, two Korean Titans. Um, and we'll find out how this game is going to go down right now. Uh, once again, this is from the WCS Korea slash OSL. They kind of have a little, a little bit of a, a conjoined partnership going on. And... Uh, this, uh, this is uh, from, I believe, the first round, but I could be mistaken. Um, and I'm only going to be casting this game as this is from the group stage, so there's really only one game to cast. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. As uh, it looks like Flash did go for a command center. He does have a bunker, does have a supply depot at the front. A uh, factory back in the main base, so uh, I think he's going to try to go for a uh, quick starport here, most likely. But... We could be, uh, there's a couple of ways you can go about this. Usually a Terran player will add on a quick start port and then they can start to do some uh, some drops. Hellbat drops are obviously still very, very effective despite their recent nerf. Um, but also Terran players can just kind of add on a tech lab here and then start to produce um, tanks. They can go for, they can swap onto the reactor as we see here and then start to produce Widow Mines and Hellions. And it looks like that is what Flash is going to go ahead and do. So, um, yeah, it looks like a pretty standard opening as far as Flash is concerned uh, from a Terran standpoint. And uh, there is actually a starport that is coming up. So there is a starport coming in the back and an armory. So I guess my initial um, prediction is going to come true here. And we are going to see Hellbats coming out uh, from Flash. And uh, like I said before, they have gotten a recent nerf. They don't do as much damage um, to light units until they get the Infernal Preigniter upgrade, but they're still very, very good. Um, and if dropped into a mineral line, can devastate workers uh, when left there for a long enough period. So uh, Flash here is actually going to be bringing a couple of the Hellions on the ground here. And uh, I guess he's going to try to just uh, clear out the open space in the middle of the map on Belshir Vestige. 
Um, make sure everything is good to go uh, before he goes for the attack. Meanwhile, I hear a couple of Zerglings doing something here. They are wailing away at the bricks. Um, and uh, I guess he wants to build something there, so he's going to go ahead and take that out, or maybe just using that as target practice for the Zerglings. Uh, but Ragnarok here is going to have to get some Roaches on the field, and in fact, he is going to start to produce Roaches right now. He does have a Roach Horn, so thankfully, uh, you know, obviously you want to get Roaches because you need them to be able to counter these Hellions um, that, and Hellbats that will be coming through. And Ragnarok wisely does have a, uh, a pretty large amount of Roaches on the way here. Meanwhile, that Overlord is going to float out. And uh, see you later, says the Overlord. So these Marines will not be able to take it out. But the main threat is brewing right now. It's kind of um, simmering in the middle here as we have these Hellions really starting to group up. We do have a Medivac that's also flying into the main base here. Loaded up with two Hellbats. Used the, the uh, Afterburner upgrade to get into the main base quickly. Uh, but there are Roaches and Zerglings waiting there. And Flash is not going to be able to get much damage done. But in the meantime, he gets his Hellions run right into the natural expansion. And he does get a few words about six workers going down there uh, nothing too serious from the Zerg player's standpoint but in the meantime a couple of Hellbats also going into the main and that adds on to the carnage nine drones have gone down already and Flash showing why he's just so feared um, very good control here great um, uh, you know great awareness on the map and ability to uh, attack multiple locations and his Hellbats are still alive uh, he can certainly bring those back in for another drop, or just drop them off and heal them here and wait uh, wait for a little bit. We'll see what he decides to do, but really good harass so far from Flash. And uh, Ragnarok kind of uh, feeling the pain a little bit. He's going to need to uh, figure out a way to deal with these... Uh, with these uh, Hellions and Hellbats, and in fact, we have yet another double drop coming in here. One into the main base, one into the expansion on the right-hand side of the map, and more drones are going to go down. Uh, if Ragnarok doesn't do something about this, he loses, uh, he's going to lose up to 20 drones now. And let's not forget, there is another medevac over here, but it looks like Flash decided not to go for the drop there. And is going to go ahead and pull it away. So, <laughs> so far, just really good harass by Flash. And uh, he has, uh, even though he's behind in supply right now, yeah, he's at 91 under 102. Just look at the uh, look at the uh, workers lost that has gone down already. 20 workers have, have died so far. And uh, that is not a good situation for the Zerg player. Now Flash has taken the supply lead. And he's starting to make his push known in the middle of the map. He's also dropping once again into the third expansion. And really no good response from Ragnarok here. I mean, he's got a Spore Crawler here or there. He's got, you know, some Zerg forces around the place. But he's losing more and more drones. 29 workers have gone down already. And the constant dropping from Flash, yeah, you know, it's just starting to really become a serious issue um, for the Zerg player. And Ragnarok needs to find a way to deal with this. Um, these hell Hellbats are just the death of him. This uh, Medivac is going to save that Hellbat at the very last second, too. Clutch right there. Um, and I guess uh, Flash can go ahead and bring that to Rendezvous with his main army because he is going to be making an attack here on the ground. Marines, Marauders, Hellbats. He's got currently plus combat shields and stim pack. Plus one weapons are about to finish up as well. And this is a sizable force at this moment in time. Ragnarok needs to get Banelings on the field to deal with this. Um, and right now, all he's got are Roaches and Zerglings. Baneling Nest is on the way, but not quite there yet. And I think if Flash decides to push right here and now, uh, he could probably take out this expansion. Uh, and it, it looks like he is going to go just for that. He can drop the stim if he wants to. And it looks like he hasn't targeted the hatchery quite yet. He is going for drones first. And now the hatchery is going to feel the fire. And it is going to drop almost instantly. These Zerg eggs are probably going to die as well before they even get to come and hatch. And Flash is just completely steamrolling Ragnarok. No problem. And, uh... And uh, Flash here not even really breaking a sweat, not even a, not even worrying about anything. Uh, gonna rendezvous right again in the middle of the map. There is an Overseer running, uh, flying into the main, but a uh, Flash. But I mean, I don't think you can be too concerned about uh, you know pesky Overseers or Overlords right now. Um, his main concern is just beating Ragnarok into a pulp. Maybe taking a quick break to sip some of that Picari sweat, remeasure his uh, keyboard and mouse with the ruler. And then uh, go on a dominant win here. Uh, <laughs> and barring a miracle, I'm not too sure what Ragnarok can do at this point. Yeah, Flash, I think, is going to take this game. He's going to push straight up the ramp. He's already finished plus one weapons. There are Balins in the mix now, but they don't have centrifugal hooks. 
And it looks like a few of them are going to connect on the Marine Army, but it isn't going to be enough. And Flash is just going to overwhelm his opponent right here. Uh, not much that the Zerg player can do, I don't think, but he is trying to hold on. He's going to get a surround. Very nice here from Ragnarok. And maybe, just maybe, if you can get a few more reinforcements out, he might be able to uh, put a, a stop to this attack and cut the bleeding. But, uh, you know, you'd imagine that Flash has more reinforcements coming. Yeah, he does. And they are streaming over towards this natural expansion, which at this point has gone down. So Flash, with a dominant StarCraft II presence here, and nothing that Ragnarok can do at this point. It is over. GG calls Ragnarok. Flash has been victorious. And uh, I guess there it is, ladies and gentlemen. If you were wondering if Flash is uh, is around and is he, uh, you know, is he still crushing souls? There it is. I do have another game of Flash I want to cast. The next one, this next one, is going to be a little bit longer. So hope you guys stay tuned. Um, and also some games with Jadong I'll probably be doing in the very near future as well. Thanks a lot, guys. And this is HD signing out.